Hi besties. You guys have wanted a juicy, in-depth, that noise sends me, Q&A with Dan. So that is what I'm going to, can you come in a little bit, you out? Mm. Sorry, was I cutting you out? Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, we have got the new toasted vanilla iced shake and espresso, right? Yeah, it's a good one. Well, we've tried it once, but I feel like you have to try a drink a few times because every barista makes it different, don't they? It's more so. Let's give it a good stir. Wait for me. You've got a little curl on your head. Hello. Yeah. I know you won't like that, that's all. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so you guys have asked us a load of questions on Insta, so I thought we would be fun to get a Starbs with Dan and um, uh, and answer them for you. You guys did not hold back. There's a lot of questions here for you. Do you want to um, ask some as well, or do you want me to just go take it away? Do you want to look at them, or do you want me to just no, I'll just take it away. Okay, so I said like because a lot of people ask for some Q and A's just specifically with Dan. Um, so we'll start off with a lot of simple ones. How did you and Dan meet? We've answered this before, yeah. but we'll just go into it because we've had new followers since then. Um, it was through my my cousin. He was with one of your friends at the time, and that was it. We just went to a, went to the beach together, didn't we? Yeah, it was like a big group. It wasn't just yeah, it wasn't just us. We didn't speak the first time with that. No, it was so awkward. And then Dan really messaged awkward. me that night on Facebook Messenger and was like, so nice to meet you. Um, and then we like met up a few times. Um, after. After. And then it was so awkward at first, honestly, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it was awkward. rubbish. Um, and then we just ended up, you know, how things go. It was friends with Ben's for a little while. Mm -hmm. um, it was a bit on and off. And then... Somehow, seven years later, we've ended up here with two doggies. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's how we met. We met when I was 15 and Dan had just turned 19 and I'm now 23. And Dan is... Going to be 26. 30. <laughs> <laughs> I keep teasing him that he's going to be 30. Um, and also, if Dan... Obviously, Dan isn't used to being in the camera, so if he's a little bit shy, that's why. Because sometimes you're a bit quiet, aren't you? <laughs> Well, I just don't say a lot in person anyway, so... Yes, you do. I don't. Only to you, I do. I don't like talking to people. <laughs> All his customers. He's nice to his customers. Yeah. Um, a lot of people want to know, when are you putting a ring on it? <laughs> We've kind of, like, unofficially put the ring on it, I think. We're, right. We're, I'm we're not out. accepting that. <laughs> Where is my rock? When when we can afford the rock that Mia wants, we will do it. Basically, getting married and like um, a wedding isn't on our priority list, is it? Uh, no, no, no. Engagement. I would like to be get engaged. Yeah, I know you. I know you want to do that, but the, see, the thing is, the ring that, that Mia likes is like fifty six thousand pounds. <laughs> no. And, I, and like at the same time as I'd want to put the ring on that. I'd also like to buy two houses with that money. I know. Well, the thing is, I would when we do it, I want to just do it properly. Yeah. Uh, and I probably will we'll find a cheaper one than fifty-six grand. But I've just found one I'm in love with from Tiffany. The, thi <laughs> the thing is, we're both very, we're both very money orientated in the sense that we both want to um, invest our money into things that make us more money. Yeah. And like, as as good as it would be to be engaged. I already know that I want to be with you for the rest of my life. So I would say if we're going to spend that sort of money on Let's, a I, ring, yeah. it would be better spent investing in our life, our yeah. kids' life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not that I'm, I don't, I'm not going to put a ring on. I've been with you for fucking like ages now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's past that. We just like, we're not like, that isn't on the top of our priority. So we want to like build a business and we want to like do other stuff first before we like, I would rather Dan spend the money. If he had that money in the bank, 50 grand just sat there, I'd rather him buy one or two houses with it and invest in our lives yeah. and make us money because the wedding ring's never going to make us money. It, w it would, obviously the value of the ring would go up, but but like it's, I would, it's, yeah. not, it's not like an investment where you're going to get the, the benefit of it. Oh, this is a good one. How do you and Dan keep the spark after being together for so long? We we we've always... and we've definitely like don't get me wrong like yeah, we've... we've gone through things in the past we've where gone through a lot. 
together. Where we've got really comfortable and the relationship has been wank. Yeah. Don't yeah. think it's all... I mean, it is pretty plain sailing now, if I'm being honest, but it wasn't yeah. in the past. We've we, Yeah, we've made... Lot, well, one of us has made lots of mistakes in the past. But I think now, like... It sounds, it sounds so cliche, but I think now I, I love you more and respect you more now than I ever have done. Yeah. I, I, I genuinely... Um, I wouldn't want to be with anyone else ever. No, and I think like go growing when you're in a long term relationship in your like teens and twenties, you're growing up still and like yeah. it's you're finding yourself and not only are you finding yourself, you're trying to navigate yourself yeah. in a relationship. Yeah. Like I feel like you Sometimes you can it, it's mad to mad to say, but sometimes you can feel very stuck. Stuck in a relationship. When you've been, especially when you've been with someone for quite a while, you're young you see, your friends are still single, single doing their thing. You can feel very and like stuck. when you're not with like the right people like, around the right energy, and like when you're younger and you're like all you do is like you're just staying in every night watching TV. You don't get out. You're not making like we didn't make we weren't making yeah, the effort we, to like go we, out and do just, stuff together. We've just got really comfortable. Really... What have you still got your seat better? Bit of potato. Yeah, I don't. Know. It just got really. At one point, dead, didn't it? Didn't it? Yeah. it was dead. But I feel like you have to go through that to realise what the problem yeah, is, well, don't you? I, I definitely had to realise it. And I, I, I genuinely don't think we could be better now. Um, no, me neither. Like, I, we learn so much about each other all the time. Like, we're still learning, we're still growing as humans. And it's, like, the thing is, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you learn from them and you show the the difference. If, obviously, we had still problems now in the relationship, yeah. we wouldn't be together. Yeah. Um, but we've grown past the, the mistakes and we've come closer and closer. And that, to, you know, that, that's all yeah. that matters. We are literally now the best we've ever been yeah like and the, the bestest of friends yeah and like i'd say like as well keeping the spark i would say you know like one making sure there's no for me i would say they're making sure there's no like hidden um anger or upset that you're not getting out because that doesn't make you want to be happy like you're constantly resenting your yeah. partner like you've got to accept what's happened or like if something's bothering you talk communication's a big one isn't it yeah and it's not so easy to talk sometimes when you're not used to it, especially like when you like Dan when he was a young lad. Like he didn't. I feel like well, some young lads aren't very good at talking oh, about their feelings. I was terrible, but you know. I've definitely, as I've got older, I think you just learn a bit more as you get older. You just learn to yeah want to like at the end of the day, if you're disrespecting someone, you're you're also disrespecting yourself. Yeah, because nobody likes. A prick. A prick. So. And I think like going on dates together, like find you know doing little things for each other, um, like spending quality time together, not just sat next to each other on the phone. Yeah. Because that's not intimate. Like you know that's lovely to do, but it's like I don't know. Even if it's like playing hide and seek in the house, or <laughs> like going on a nice walk together and like checking in with each other, like are you okay? Like you know yeah. is everything all right? Like I I don't know if something seems off. Like have I done something to upset you? Yeah, like. I don't know. Do you think? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I think just making effort. Like, don't stop putting in effort when it becomes easy. Like, just keep putting in effort to make it yeah. good. Who was interested first? Me. Yeah. And someone said, like, how often does Dan get to see his family living down south? My mum actually also still lives down south, so I don't get to see my mum either. Like, both of our mums are down there. And Dan's granddad and his stepdad. Um, and we see them... Mm. Not, not much really. I mean, when you're working, like, you know, I've got my a business to run, and then Mia's obviously busy with her things. Like, when the weekend comes, you kind of almost like burn out by. And the it's week. expensive, like, and by the so like you go on a Friday, and you get there Friday night, and then you know you spend a full tank of petrol for us that's 100 pound for other people that's 30 40 whatever and then you get you see like one family some friday dan likes to see his friends on the saturday mm. my mum works and then sunday comes around you want to go home because you've got stuff to do because you've not been home all weekend like obviously we've got the dogs as well you drive back that's another tank of petrol and like it's like a day yeah. properly like it's so it's nice to plan like dan's obviously a plumber He's got, I think he's going to do, like, his parents' bathroom and we'll go down for, like, a week. Yeah. 
Um, so like there, then we see everybody. Like yeah. it's a bit better. Yeah, it would be um, nice. So we do see them like Dan's mom came up at Christmas. We saw that we met them in Gloucester at the weekend. Yeah, we went for. A we see them like every route. couple of months, would you say? And we yeah, probably we ring and FaceTime like our parents. Yeah. Well, I like ring, you, you ring yours. I every ring day. my mum every day. I, we all we my family have a group message, so we all uh, you chat every day. Yeah, on there, we don't chat you? every day on there, so it's not like. And I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm a very. Um, independent person to be fair yeah i'm very i can i'm i'm okay on my own he doesn't need like i like love to check in with my mum and dad every day whereas yeah. dan's not like that i'm like that's absolutely fine yeah um also so when how long will you and dan live in this house um maybe like a year to sort of 18 months maybe when, two years depending on we're not sure because someone's also said piggybacking in this when do you plan to buy your next proper property hopefully by the end of the year we would love to be in the position to buy another house at the end of the year and we're not sure whether we want that to be um to live in yeah you okay? yeah right. were you looking at the man yeah um we're not sure whether we want that to be I think they're struggling. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, guys. We we don't know whether we want um, to be in the position to move to a bigger house and live in that and rent out where we live. We call it by like, street name, so I always have to be careful not to say it out loud. Yeah. Or live where we're living now. It all depends, really, doesn't it? It just depends on what the market does, because obviously yeah. there's a, a fear of a, a bit of a correction in the market yeah which would probably help us especially if we're buying but then depends on how inflation state yeah, it's so, there's so many variables to it yeah someone said what was your biggest regret made in the process of moving house fucking hell i would say not but well, we didn't know so we couldn't change it but not understanding enough what the solicitors were doing they because are fucking they've bastards. fucked us all over bad with our like with, with a few things in our house but we basically waited for all these surveys for months and we were under the impression we were paying for Absolute a absolute bastard so, um an internal survey and it was just uh we are right so a survey on a building is um it's by choice. It's not compulsory. You don't have to do and it. We and didn't, we, we didn't know that, did we? The only thing that is compulsory is the property valuation. So we had been told that a survey was going on, which was, it turns out, just the property valuation. Um, and, yeah, so the property valuation is just when the mortgage company come and say, we think we, we're happy to give the money, we think the house is worth the value of the mortgage, blah, blah, blah. So... Turns out, after we've lived there for about two months, obviously you don't stick your head up in a loft when when you buy a house because you can't exactly ask the estate agent. Can and I... our loft doesn't, you know, like some lofts that pop open with ladders. Yeah, Ours we've just got like, we've got like a little and little I can't hatch. even fit up it. Like it, it is a squeeze to get up. My bum, I don't think would get up. I, probably not. <laughs> probably not. But anyway, <laughs> I stick my head up there just to have a little look. And there's fucking holes all over the place in the roof. It's the original roof. So it's a, it's a few hundred, well, just over 100 years old, so it's old. Um, there's no felting or anything like that, so it's just just open to the um, elements. So, yeah, we need a new roof. We were trying to get sort of some legal help, see how we could go about it, because obviously... God, it was a nightmare. We thought we could... But Never have out, I ever been to assistance advice for your own. I don't want to go again. <laughs> Turn, turns out we um, we don't have a leg to stand on because we didn't have a survey there. So get, make sure you get a survey. Yeah, and like our insurance doesn't come for it, our building insurance. No, no. So. It's a nightmare. So just take it from us if you're buying a house. Have a survey done no yeah. matter how much it costs. Um, it's already going to cost you an arm and leg anyway, so you might as well just fork out the extra two grand. Yeah, which we would have, but we didn't know. Yeah. We thought we we, we had this covered. Um, and, and staying on a house topic then, um, how did you find saving for a house? Any tips as a couple? Uh, and I think it depends on the couple, but how it worked for us in the moment was when we were saving, we Dan saved all of his money. Yeah, so like... 
and I spent it on I spent food on and money on food if Dan needed anything like clothes he paid his bills yeah but and I paid my bills and I bought food and like if we we're going away for a weekend if we're going out it's a, similar to how we do it now it is very similar I now. pay for our bills and Dan pays for our mortgage like I think it's depending on your incomes like yeah, split it so both dependent. of you can not, it's a bit changed now between us now I've yeah. gone self-employed because I'm better off however when I was working full time in the office and I wasn't earning as much as Dan he paid for um, he saved all of his money um, which allowed us to you know renovate whatever else and I managed to um, I just saved and well just spent all my money didn't I and pretty then much. anything I left over great yeah pretty much Whereas now, like, it's a little bit different, like, uh, and I still would say that when you're living together, find a healthy split, like, what you both can afford and you're not going to argue over, because we don't, we very, very rarely argue about money, but I'm aware that a lot of people do argue about money. 100%, it, a lot, I can imagine it ruins some couples' relationships, money, yeah. because, especially, like, at the very start, when, before we moved up here, I was earning... Uh, More than me. Yeah, but it was an average salary twice when I was working. Twice more than me. Yeah, it was an average salary. Um, but you weren't working at the time. No, I didn't work for a period, and, did I? And I was paying for everything, and that takes a fucking toll. Like, yeah. regardless of age, regardless of bills, when you're paying f for everything, everything, like, no matter how much you say, oh, it doesn't matter, like, it, it does matter. Uh, yeah. It does get annoying. So, I, I'm... I'm I really hate dossers. Like I hate people that like just doss <laughs> and have no dossers. I haven't had heard that word in so long. It's a Tyson Fury. Is uh, it? Yeah, it's a dosser. dosser. You dumb dosser. Right. Um, but like, imagine being someone who's got no drive, no hunger it for anything. It doesn't turn you on, does like, it? Like, if a, if a woman wants that in a man, a man should want that in a woman. So, and that like, me and me are very very even now. Like, it, and it and it works our relationship now is the yeah. best it's like, ever been personally like again like we have a split so like Dan pays for the mortgage and the car insurance I pay for the bills the car insurance and the food no I pay the car insurance um, yeah. I pay for the car what's it called payment, payment the yeah. car payment and the food and then like just whatever no one has keeps count like on like takeaways and things like that we kind of just whereas like when we were saving hard i would you know get that because Dan was saving every penny yeah. so i think just do what you can afford don't don't make it a miserable process either or a process that you're low key annoyed at and you're going to be annoyed at your partner for you know you're I, paying less than me you know i think i think you should put a goal like have I th a goal i think it's healthy to have a goal for it as well because we had a goal for our renovation budget and we smashed it and like the accomplishment of the us feeling of that. seeing it in dan's account we were like yeah we were like wow that, that's mad and don't put pressure on you you can only do, like depend you can only depend on what you can afford yeah because you've got to live as well don't yeah, you know man. be sensible but don't you know go crazy yeah. um so and then details about the housing process getting a mortgage <sighs> okay well just to be honest with you i don't really know so we saw our house um, on our anniversary last year. We went to see it, yeah. loved it, were really impressed by it because yeah. um, we were seeing a lot at the time, weren't we? Yeah. Um, and then we were like, do you know what? We can't stop thinking about this. So we just put an offer in, didn't we? Uh, yeah, haggled we, with we, an offer, managed to get it down quite a bit. Yeah, we should have got it down more, though. We should have, well, yeah, we didn't know about the roof, but we managed to get it down quite a little bit because. Um, it was that time where not many people were buying. Like, it was just before inflation, wasn't it? So, yeah, we saw, visited the house last year, um, put an offer in it, went and saw it again, so just before... Um, yeah. It was a couple of months later, wasn't yeah. it? Because nothing was really moving that quick, was it? No. Um, and then you... What do you do? You get, like, you get in touch with your solicitors and stuff. As gave us a portal. It's mm. very back and forward with your mortgage advisor at first, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like finding some, so you get like a mortgage in principle when you have to have your offer, and then once you've got your mortgage in principle, it's then making sure you're actually with that lender, yeah. sending all the documents. They want to know the last time you had a piss, basically. They know <laughs> want to know what's inside your vagina, inside your bum. Like they want to know yeah, everything about do. your life, and they, they question why you spent sixty five pound at Asda. Like they yeah. want to know everything, don't they? Shout out to our mortgage advisor Katie as well because yeah, she, she was so good. She, she did well to get us a mortgage. Me yeah. being self employed only a year. 
Um, so if you're looking for a mortgage advisor, I mean, I don't know if you're local or you like. We met with her once, but the rest yeah. was online. I don't think you'd need to. No, was... it was because like our solicitors, we didn't. Well, they were local, but we didn't meet them. And um, it's signature. They were Peterborough. No, there's one in Lichfield. Oh, is Taylor Rose. Yeah. Oh, is there? Yeah. Signature finances. Um, yeah. and it's really she was lovely. So if yeah. anyone is looking for a mortgage advisor, I and, do recommend that. And they were reasonably priced as well. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, so you sort all your solicitor stuff out, and then what else do you do? Then you just send them your send you everything, everything piss and sample. Then, yeah, and um, then you're just waiting for everything, aren't you? Yeah. And then a few months before we moved in, about um, in May, we went and saw the house again. Yeah, just another look. We did some measurements. Ready to start looking for kitchens yeah. and things like that. And like I would just say, as it took almost. Nine months. Nine months. So what, what I would say is don't have any expectations and don't be disappointed because I was we were disappointed time and time again because searches were delayed, blah, blah, blah. It was all like land registry, about a tree. Like, yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so just, just be hopeful and don't have too much, like, you know, but in that time, it's so nice to buy things for your house and, like... Um, start looking at plans and stuff, isn't it? Why are you laughing? The stuff that Mia bought for that house, free owning it, I don't think I've seen any of it. Yeah, the toaster, the kettle, not the coffee machine, but no. I did use it. We've gone through three co coffee two. machines. Two? Yeah, two, is it? Some of it I didn't like, no. Yeah, it's very, very, very funny, that is. Anyway... <laughs> So, yeah, so I would just say don't get excited until they give you a moving day. Yeah. And even then, it pushed, I was got pushed back. Well, four times. But honestly, the feeling when you get the keys, you forget all... Well, you pretty much do forget all the shit, don't you? You're like, yes. Yeah. Within, within like, the first three days... We were like, we'd, whoa, we'd, we'd gutted out. out the whole house entirely. As the you guys know, if you've down. watched the moving vlogs... Um, Favourite thing about living together? Um, for me, it is literally having your person there every day. You've got day. a best friend. Like It's so exciting, like, waking up next to him, like, doing some of them. Oh, he's home, watch your tea. <laughs> like, should we play Monopoly tonight? We've never played Monopoly. Yeah, when we both had Covid. That was at the old house. Yeah, but we still did it. Yeah, we did do it. But like, the, the, what I'm saying is, like, the options there. Yeah, if you want to yeah. play a game, you yeah. can. If you want to play hide and seek, you can. If you want to meditate, you can. Like we do. But like, there's no. I don't know. It's just nice, and like, it's nice to be together. But you're not under each other. Whereas I feel like when you're not at each other's, like you live at your mum and dad's yeah. or whatever, you go around, you're stuck in the bedroom. Yeah. Whereas like, I'm upstairs, Dan's downstairs. We're still there together. <laughs> But, like, you know, yeah. I feel like the pressure gets taken off a little bit. It's also very, like, it's a quite a proud feeling when you've got your own house that you've you've both made, like... Yeah, you look around and think, go on. Yeah. I had that the other day. Yeah, I get it every now and then. I'm, I'm, I'm like, fucking okay, hell, fair play. Someone said, why don't you guys ever go abroad instead of staycations? Just wondering. And there's it's a couple of... It's not down to my choice, put it that way. Well, no, I, I actually wanted uh, to... Uh, uh, I actually wanted to say something about this because, one, say that we have been away. We've been to Mexico, we've been to Greece a few times, but we've been to Amsterdam, we've been to Prague. But the reason why is, one, we've been saving for a house and yeah. going on a two grand holiday isn't smart. Two, we're in the process of trying to buy another house. Well, start to buy another house and we're renovating a house. If you knew how expensive buying and renovating a house is and then planning to do it again... A holiday isn't necessarily on the top of our priority list, and like a staycation is quarter of the price. Yeah, we get we like look for Airbnbs when we go for like. And we love we love going away. Pounds. Don't get me wrong, but one I've got a plane fear, <laughs> which one that's irrelevant to the situation, to be honest. But secondly, it's not on our priority list at the moment because we're. I've said these for these few couple of years. I mean, not that we won't go away for a few years, but it's like money making money. It's yeah. like investing in businesses. It's not, you know, we've when we've made our money, going to the Maldives for two weeks won't be an issue. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And, oh, hundred percent. And not that a holiday is a waste of money because the memories you get from that are, are you know, um, incredible. Yeah. But 
everyone's different so maybe we'll go away this year um but i don't know it's hard isn't it because yeah. and it's also the dogs like we've also got a puppy and a two-year-old dog that we want to make sure safe while we're not here and it's finding someone that isn't that's going to look after him we can't put that pressure on family yeah you know there's lots of things that come into it so yeah it's, it's just one of them at the moment um there's a lot saying, when do you want children? When's the kids? Mm. Mom and dad, question mark. <laughs> it's within a year, isn't it? Within a year, probably. We're not. Me, me seems to think, like, by the time I get to 30, we, it just doesn't work. No. <laughs> no. We, we, don't, we don't obviously know, like, often, and we won't really disclose, obviously, when we're going to start trying and things like that, but it will be in the next few years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is the honest answer. It, like, we, we want to be young parents, and, like, we're so happy in our relationship, like, we can't wait to bring a little mini or no. like, a little best friend up. Like, we don't yeah. find... I personally don't like think a child stops your relationship like i feel like it just elevate it you know 100%. because you can go on holiday with your child like you yeah. can do so much while they especially while they're little before school like just, you can do everything yeah. the same you're just making a little mate aren't you and basically. we've got two little hobbits anyway <laughs> that sleep in our bed what's one more luckily the bed is big enough for us yeah so honestly this is this this is what i mean with the housing situation like it depends where we are in yeah. the if we're you know having shot i don't know there's there's lots of things that go into it. Can we put the heater on? I'm a bit chilly. Yeah. Um, will you ever get married and have the dogs involved in your ceremony? Um, um, well, we think this is just not. We're not hundred percent sure because if we would, we will get married. I think, but like somewhere down the line. But we think we would just go away privately, yeah. have a little ceremony, just us two, not the Maldives or something. Just on the beach. And that's that. Like we won't have any, just, you know. Yeah, we're not like massively social people. No. So we don't have hundreds of friends. No. Like a wedding to me is just such a. a I mean, it's every, everyone's opinion. I different. think a wedding ceremony is beautiful, and like if you've got like family and friends that really get on and things. However, we've got well, I especially have got a very broken family, and I couldn't have them all there, and that for me just is awkward. And also, I don't think I'd want that sort of big ceremony. No, we'd Dan. Like I couldn't imagine you saying I do in front of hundreds of people. Yeah, it just ain't me. And like, if it ain't for you, then don't no. do it. Don't force yourself to do something that. that doesn't feel right um yeah i think yeah like and like because if you guys follow Liv guy she did like a really um casual ceremony it was just her family and friends like a very minimal people it was like 30 people i don't know how many people and like she literally was in a track seat like it was so chill but like everyone got to witness like the after ceremony yeah. like that's nice you know almost like a yeah. little you just meal. Have a, like get together with yeah. all your closest which is we'd which probably is do nice. that when yeah. we get back wouldn't we yeah. like with my nan yeah, and yeah mom yeah. and granddad yeah. you know i just i just feel like some people really force this whole vibe of a wedding like yeah. oh you've got to, got to be bigger and better than the next person and like in reality it's just meant to be your yours and your partner's day not not trying to because i feel like we would just it cause more hassle than it's worth yeah the heating's still not on is it not no when i'm really really cold I... turn the engine on there you go i didn't know if you wanted it for the video what the engine yeah yes yeah, fine oh I just want the heating on, sorry guys. Someone says, how do you keep the light, the private life going on with the dogs? I sleep with us and we struggle. Puppies are so tired and we just fall asleep. <laughs> um, do you know what? I, I think like the best time to do it is when they're asleep, isn't it? <laughs> because otherwise they're just gonna be staring at you. <laughs> do you not think? Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you're struggling, right, I mean, Rory and Rolo sleep on our bed too, so, like, Rory usually, Rory just jumps off and think, oh, for fuck's sake, yeah. it's happening again. <laughs> yeah, you know, like... yeah, Rory looks and thinks, oh, get away from me. Uh, whereas Rolo, I don't really think, knows that like, he doesn't get it, like, he doesn't get it. And he just, he's at the bottom of the bed anyway, so it's kind <laughs> yeah, of, he's it, over it at the, really matter. He's over at the bed chewing on his bone, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
so yeah we feel you struggle but like yeah. you've just i don't know i don't know that's so funny um what's your favorite thing about each other i don't think there's one particular thing no there's loads isn't it yeah i just it is just like having a best mate yeah yeah it is that is literally it um someone said any tips for coping with bad mental health days this is interesting because we've been really working on this recently haven't we yeah i think i think first of all you just need to accept that you're feeling like you are like it is okay to feel like that yeah. everyone goes through it yeah. whether they whether they say they are or, or they're, they're okay or not everyone does go through it and then, sure? I, and then i think you just personally for me like a, a couple of weeks ago i was feeling really anxious about just things i didn't need to worry about and like now the meditation the the just looking after yourself journaling. Like, yeah journaling it's so important because you're getting all of these just stupid thoughts out of your head and onto a bit of paper and then you look at it and uh, you read it and you're like you know is that all i've got to worry about there's people like there's people literally in the world world so much worse off than me and they're not worried so why should i be worried mm -hmm. a positive mindset is everything and like everyone has worries everyone has bad things that get them down and that's so normal but i think writing them down really like, like making yourself know what you're grateful for so like you know like be appreciative of what you've got around you and the bad things seem more minor than don't they 100 percent. and then like write down what you want out of a life as if you've got it write down your goals and like think like this is i've got so much to look forward to i also think as well if you're feeling like that you really need to get yourself up and going like exercise is such a, a get big, out for a walk just a, such a big help like we look like dan like i love walking and obviously we're going to the gym but dan really finds the benefit from going to do a big weight session don't you yeah i i love it i love just it. making yourself like exert is it exerted is that a word yeah you exert yourself like is a feeling like it just blows the cobwebs away doesn't it you don't come out of a gym or go for a walk at the end of it go fucking hell i regret that yeah that was like, awful it's only going to make you better 100 percent um Someone said, where is Dan from? Somerset. Somerset. Um, what is your favourite good quote? Like, what is there a quote that really sticks with you? Oh, what was it? I wrote it down the other day in my journal. It was in the book. Have you told it to me? Oh, what was it? That big, you know, that Bible book. Bible book? Not, not a Bible book, but that big journal book. But, My one? But, yeah. Have you read it? No, but when I read it for the first time, there was a quote. Oh, the Daily the... Teacher? Yeah. That's what was at the front door. What was it? I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what it is right now. Hello? It's good, Paul. So I'll be okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. No problem then. Bye. Bye. Shall I? I'll post one. <laughs> um, I I really like when I come across this recently, and it's life works for you, not at you. Love that one, and I also just love everything will work out as it's meant to be. What was it? I can't remember what it was. I don't know, babes. It, uh, yeah, I couldn't even tell you, but I I, I read it and I was I wrote it down because I liked it that much. I was like fucking hell. Ah, oh, someone put. I love how Dan treats you. You're so cute. It ain't always been like this. No, but exactly what I mean, whereas like our relationship can evolve, like and we kind of understand each other's love languages now, like Oh, that that is that is a really good point. Understanding someone else's love language. Jode kinda of taught us this actually, didn't she? Like she kinda of said to me, like, me and Ollie love this, like I'm obsessed with it, me at like fine you take a quiz and you kinda of like asks you questions of like there's like five different love languages. It's like acts of service quality time gifts physical touch and there's one more i think um and our, we both have different acts of service like uh, different um love, love languages. languages like what would you say mine are um yours is gifts and is it was it like touch physical touch yeah something like that and i feel like i also have a bit of acts of service 
Yeah, that's I like the, yeah, for yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> didn't that come under the same one as like? No, it didn't. Acts of service and, and gifts were different because some people just spoil their partner. Yeah, you but were, yeah, but don't make it sound like I love. The no, 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 no. No, I was gonna say you don't do that, but it's like it doesn't mean like gifts is in like. You bought me a fucking new car. I get excited when you buy me a Fanta. Yeah, I like love those that. sorts of the little meaningful yeah. m- moments. Like if Dan bought me, like um, I still haven't eaten it, but Dan bought me a cream egg a few weeks ago, and I really got excited by it. Like I think, yeah. like, oh my god, he's thought about me in his day. Like that's what the meaning behind yeah. it. Like I, I mean, I would love it if he come around with an LV bag, but <laughs> I'm more than happy with a cream egg. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like when I go to the shop or something, I'll get you like a barbells. Uh, oh, banana, no, I love it. Banana, is it the banana one? The banana like? one, yeah. The banana protein shake, and like she's like, I love oh, it. Yes, I love it. One minute you're gonna heat up, two seconds, just hung it out the window for a moment. So hopefully that um, cooled down for you. Okay. Um, someone said, um, oh so yeah, we were talking about love language. So I feel like Dan's is more. He likes quality time, and he also, but he also likes acts of service and like. He likes. Um, oh, I know. I know what the fifth one is. Words of affirmation. Yeah. You like that one. Yeah, that's the one. That was. Like it. you're doing really well. Like yeah, you know. I like, I that like was really good. Positive talk and just positive mindset is a big thing for yeah, me. Yeah, like you did so well. Then, like you know, he really likes that. And uh, again, like he does like acts of service. Like if I like, I don't know if I've done something. Like just. I don't, I don't know, know, doing something around the house. Like when yeah, you come like, home and the house is tidy. Oh, yeah, like, like when I've cleaned the house when yeah, you're out. Dad's I, like, oh my god, that's I'm so like, nice. Fucking that, it looks lush, that does. Yeah, it's so nice to come home to, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Someone, oh, this is one for me, but someone says, Where did you get your necklace with your name on? This is Priat Jewelry. Um, someone says, How to start manifesting like a proper in depth video. And what I will say, I'll give you a little roundup, but me and Jodie um, have on our podcast, Sisters and Souls, have our episode this week um, was about goals, how we manifest them, like is there a point in setting them? And it's like an hour long video, so I explain that a lot better. But do you want to touch on how you do it? Because I feel like everyone enjoys different stuff. Yeah, it's all so different. I find visualization is. <sighs> Is, I wish I, I'm rubbish at this, aren't I? Is my best technique. I feel like I'm quite good at it. Like if you could ex- literally imagine, like Dan could literally imagine our front door and like our kids in it and like the dog in it and like the smell of the reed diffuser. Yeah. Whereas Jodie's like that too. I can, I can like so my my future dream, or I say my dream, what my life will become eventually, is I wanna. I I, I don't really want to work. Or I want to just stay at home. Not not like a stay at home dad, like but online. I want to I want to I want to become a, like a day trader, so I can like imagine myself sat at my desk with my screens in front of me. I can imagine what I'm wearing. I've got a Drew House hoodie on, like it, things, I can yeah. imagine all these things. I can imagine pulling up on the uh, the driveway, the double garage, my house. Like I can imagine all of this, and I can imagine what the house looks like in, inside. But I think that comes from a place of knowing that it's going to happen. Yeah, Whereas, and like we were saying this the other day, weren't we? In bed, like I, you struggle to imagine the visualization of the house and things like that. Yeah, like I, I've got an idea, but then like I, I know it sounds silly, but like I don't know. I don't hundred percent know. I've got loads of dream houses, and I've got loads of dream cars, and I've got loads of dream things that I struggle to focus on one specific one. And I also struggle, like when I'm trying to visualize something else pops in my mind. I'm not very good at staying yeah. focused, am I? That's what. That's like where the meditation comes in. Like, and the, I'm trying to practice, the, aren't I? Yeah, we're practicing, but it is just life is just a practice and also but i find like for people like me i find writing down like i've got a little ritual that i do and i write down how i'm feeling things i'm grateful for and then i write down what my my exact life is like what i no hang on write down my goals as if i've had them so for example i will write down Oh my god, I'm so excited. I've just hit 100,000 YouTube scri- subscribers. Yeah. My silver plaque with my name on it has just come through the post. It's so shiny. It's on my shelf. Like, I love looking at it. I'm so proud of it. Yeah. I can't wait to hit a million. You know, things like that. Like, it's, it's talking just, about yeah. it as if you've got it and try and imagine. I, like, almost have to squeeze my body to make my, 
make the feeling like I'm like I'm excited. I have to do that in my head to get it, but I get it. Yeah. So like whatever you have to do to get a good feeling. You've got yeah. Like I I come away from like some evenings after I've either visualized, wrote down in my feeling journal. Feeling excited. You come away feeling excited yeah. and and you've self-created that excitement. Yeah. Like that is amazing if you can if yeah. if you can get into that habit because the like sense of just happiness in your in yourself like yeah. the other night we were doing it and i like i, I felt so emotional because yeah. i was just like fucking hell this yeah. is this is mad and you're, you're capable of so much yeah you are and your but but the thing is right guys your subconscious mind doesn't know what is real and what is fake it doesn't know what's happened so if you're tricking it constantly saying to yourself i've got this i've got yeah. this i've got this you will naturally attract it but it works both ways if you're saying like oh you know, like, I'm really struggling. I was just about moment. to say, living in lack. You're living in lack, like... No, nope. worst the, thing you the, can do. Yeah, these things, you're never going to feel fulfilled. No, and if you're constantly like, I've got no money, I hate my job, I hate my life, just bad, I have such bad luck, I have such bad luck. No, stop saying that. Yeah. You've got to write, no, I'm so lucky, I've got so much money coming towards me. Like, you've just got to switch your mindset. Whether it's real or not, your mind doesn't know. So when you're faking it till you're making it, if you like... You're attracting the better things because you're like tricking yourself into this new person, and then before you know it, you'll be yeah, that person. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, someone said, "Have you always found it easy to wake up early, or is it something you've had to do?" Uh, do I find it easy? Just, uh, Mia definitely doesn't find it easy. I mean, like this morning, for example, I said to Mia when we got to the gym, I was like, "I almost snoozed that alarm this morning." Like, as as easy as it is, like, or I say it easy as it is. <laughs> As, as much as we do it, it it don't get easier, but it you just all, almost you're disappointed if you don't do it now. Like yeah. you, ha I feel right. So like today, like it's twenty to twelve, and we've been to the gym, we've walked, we've you know eaten. I'm filming a video. I've got ready. I filmed four TikToks, and we've still got the rest of the day. Like. Yeah. I can't express to you how much you can get done in the morning by getting up early and it isn't easy but you've got to, you don't give yourself a choice no lenience like you've got to be really disciplined with it I think do I th you think I think I think it, it it comes down to you have to be like your own opponent like one part of you saying oh go on just snooze that alarm for an extra 20 minutes but the other half of you saying what is that extra 20 minutes going to do? I was, just to interrupt you, I was watching a video yesterday in the shower and it was a girl who was trying to explain the lucky girl syndrome. Um, and you guys should know what the lucky girl syndrome is. If you don't, it's basically you saying, I am the luckiest girl ever and practising it and believing it and it attracts more. It's a different version of manifesting, basically. Yeah. And um, she go two girls on either side of the screen, Athena and Lola. Athena, which is something for like um a, 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 italian or greek for something and lola is something for like poor or like they're different meanings anyway irrelevant really um she was basically saying like a lola mindset and an athena mindset and she was like don't be a lola like lola's the one who um wants you to sit and do nothing. sit and do nothing like you know slump and stay where you are because Nothing should scare you more than staying the same yeah. this time next year, five years, ten years. Exactly my point. You are you are your opponent. You've got you've got to want to be better every day. And the biggest thing we say is like we, you don't grow when you're comfortable. comfortable. If you're comfortable getting nine o'clock, get up earlier. <laughs> comfortable comfort is the worst thing you can do. And we've we've been comfortable in the past. Like it, it is so bad. And this is like to do with money. This is to do with your daily habits. Relationships. Everything. everything. Like keep, keep improving. Like You've try and be better every yeah. day. You've got to progress every day. And like we like to have so much done and like fill your own cup up before the day starts. Yeah. This is a big one. You've got to. So say like we're self-employed, but say if you work, you work for a company and it opens at... 8 30 or 9 or 8 o'clock in the morning yeah you have to be there on the dot go and do your stuff before because you're not going to do it after you're not going to and you don't and you know you're burnt out by the end of the day like get up if, if you can't make it to the gym the gym doesn't open early enough go for a big walk yeah 
Yeah. Like, like do a bit of manifesting. Our gym opens at 6.30, so by 6.30 we're, we are at the gym at 6.30. We're finished by half seven. So like, yeah. we, I, I like to be on site or, or wherever I'm working for just after eight o'clock. Yeah. I'm, I'm there for them. Yeah. So, so like, you've got, I, I haven't got any excuse not to do that, no. I think. No, and then like, in the, and also I watched a girl on TikTok and she said like, in the in the morning, by the time you get to work, you've done things that have filled your cup up. Yeah. And if you do have negative things, they're less likely to bring you down because you've already like made your own cup fuller. And also, like, no one's going to ask you to stay late at work. Then you're not going, you know. And also, your phone is a big one. Like, don't look at your phone. Yeah. I would say it's really. Yeah. Or keep it on Do Not Disturb so you can't see your notifications. I mean, I like to film TikToks and stuff, but I leave it in Do Not Disturb and look at no notifications because yeah. if you see something negative the minute you wake up, it already sets the tone for the day and it's hard to get back from that. Social media is an absolute cesspit for shit. Yeah, it does. Because, and coming on to that, someone said, um, how do you deal with, like, hate and do you ever worry what people think when you post TikToks and what would... Um, did you ever worry what people would think when you posted TikToks before you had followers? And I would say, not. I did worry when I first ever started my YouTube channel back in what 2018 or whenever it mm. was. But I would say no because you're not really talking to anyone. Then it's when people start showing your opinion that I think you think God. You know, you realise what people are really like. But at the end of the day everyone's going to have opinion everyone's entitled to it and that's absolutely fine and as long as you're happy that's all that matters so you know you'll attract people who don't like you and attract people that do like you and the people that do like you are the winners there 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 is a saying that i do like and i've thought of okay go on there's a saying that people hate you if you're leaving them or catching them yeah and it's kind of the meaning is People will hate you if you're doing better than them. Yeah. People will hate you if you're going to catch them up. Yeah. You can't win, so you have no. to just do what you want to do. 100%. You're never going to please anybody. and that and like, But the only person you should aim to please is you anyway. You know, you're the, doing it for exactly. you. Exactly. You are your own opponent. Don't worry about what anyone else thinks, because at yeah. the end of the day, I don't give a, uh, a fuck what someone I've never spoken to, never am going to meet, is saying about me. No. I, I don't care. Uh, also, another quote will go, don't take things personally from people who don't know you personally. Exactly. It's such a good quote to live by, but don't take that in the way as, like, I don't care what you got, like, the positive people yeah, of it, it, because you guys make me want to carry on every day. Because it's the ones that are saying the stuff. It comes from a place of jealousy. Yeah. That it, Hate is jealousy. Yeah. You, if, if, if you were... If you were not hating on someone, you'd be doing it. Therefore, you've got nothing better to do. Yeah. to sit there and hate it's that it's just it's just a and sad life for really. it is and life's so amazing like there's so much to accomplish in life and like you're sitting there like and all you can do is be negative like that's just so sad like what a rubbish life you live there's, in there's a guy on twitter and, and on instagram he's called joe something he's a big gym guy you've probably seen his videos and he just spreads gym positivity and he calls out bullshit and i absolutely love the bloke because he, he cannot stand people that spread hate. So for every hate comment he gets, he replies back like a love comment. Like, I hope you're okay in your life. What, yeah, what like, What's bothering you in your life for you to do? Yeah. This? I hope you find your a peace. Bit, and a bit like Leslie on yeah, Benidorm. Yeah, Les on Benidorm sums it up perfectly. For every bad comment you say about me, I'm going to turn it around and say something nice to you. Yeah, hope you're okay. Have a good because, day. Because if you're hating on someone, then there's clearly some issues in your life that that need checking so if you are one of those people that do do that stop and just yeah try and focus on happiness like if you don't like something don't watch it like it just brings bad vibes for you like just go and be happy why would you want to keep spouting that in your life like it's crazy isn't it um let's see if there's any more we've answered so many um someone said what made you move back to canic and a few things really um but we're happy we did. We've got our house and we're just, yeah, you know... we're just setting living. up our future life, our kids' lives. Um, do either of you have any siblings? No, only we're, children. We're spoiled, only children. Yeah, and we, we love it. How are you both? That's such a nice question. That is a nice question. We're okay. How are you? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This is funny. Um, but they, we've already answered this, but when would you like a baby? But how many do you want? It's two or three, isn't it? 
We're not. Well, let's see how the first one pops out first. I don't think uh, we'd want only like an only child because we have. We've we want said, someone to have. We want a big family. Yeah, we want a big Christmas. We've, we've always said like we, the, like was it we were talking about it on Saturday what? about Cyrus's. Before before they all fell out. Yeah, like they just looked so fun, didn't like, it? A big like fa- big family vibe. Like everyone just has a joke with each other. Banter. Like all the girlfriends and boyfriends come round our house. They're all sound. We to just get want along. a big happy, like loads it, of fun yeah. Christmases, like loads of fun gatherings. Like I think maybe yeah, we would like two or three. I think, but like. Let's, someone told us actually when we went on holiday to Greece that um, we were going to have twins, didn't they? Do you remember that man and we had them bracelets from him? The man we had the bracelets from and you paid him like 20, 20 quid? Oh, and he yeah, said we were gonna yeah, have yeah, twins. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I don't know about that. We've got no twins in the family. We'll see, we'll see. Um, let me see if there's any more. Someone said, What's your five year goal? But I don't really like, I feel like that's so far away. I don't know. Look, I just want to focus on right this second. The five-year plan is is a difficult one because there's so many. Yeah, there is so many. Um, and someone said, let me just check if there's any more. Someone said, have you got any travel plans for this year? Hopefully, we've got. We're gonna go to Scotland. Um, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And never been to Scotland, so I'm really looking forward. We're going I've to the Isle to. of Bude. Yeah. And we're not hundred percent sure we would like to, but we're just gonna see. We want need to find someone for the doggies that we're happy with to leave them, and yeah. then we probably will just go away for maybe a week. Like, like I said, we're saving and we're still spending money on the house because we've got to do the garden and things like that. But I think we would like to go away maybe. In the summer, end of summer, just for a week, maybe to just like Greece, Lanzarote, something like that, right? Yeah. Just to yeah. feel a bit, a bit of vitamin D. But but then, in a few years, maybe not. No, not in a few years. Maybe like end of next year, we'll probably go on like a big holiday, like yeah, next. You know, we've always said. Who like knows ne- how we'll be next year? Next year, we'd like to go because we loved Mexico, but we didn't really get to see the sights as no. such. We were, we were, our hotel was absolutely beautiful. We, we kind didn't of leave, had, did we? We had five restaurants in we, the hotel. Well, we went to Cancun and we went to Coca Bongo, yeah, and then and we, we also went to, went to um, Playa del Carmen. Carmen. But I'd like to go and see the Mayan temples. Yeah. I, I, I really want to go and me see Me and the them. baby will stay at home. <laughs> go on my own on a excursion by me, myself. Yeah. Um, and also, like, I've been... I did a lot of travelling when I was younger with my mum and, like, we went to the Maldives, we went to Dubai, we went to Mexico, we went to New York. I did. A, had, I was really blessed to go on a lot of lovely holidays with my mum. So, like, I'm really excited to take back Dan back to um, Mexico and I'm also excited to take him to Dubai and I'd also love to go to... Um, um, taking back to the Maldives, like just places like that that were incredible. Mm. Um, and then we also would like so many places. We want to go to Amsterdam soon because Amsterdam's literally. We love my, Amsterdam. It's my favourite place. Joe's there at the minute, the and planet. I'm so Dan. Me and Dan are so jealous, aren't so we? So jealous. I, I can't remember. I think I've been about, been about five or six times. Yeah, but we went for a period, oh. and we went like four times in a year. Yeah. Like we've loved it so much. It is. It is. It's a pretty special place, but Amsterdam. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we'll round it off there because I'm dying for a wee. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little Q A with Q and Q and A with the little Jim Sharp model. <laughs> um, we I enjoyed filming it. It's like a nice sit down video, and obviously like Dan doesn't always get involved in the vids apart from some of the vlogs. So I hope you enjoyed and answered all of your questions. Hope you guys are okay. Hope you're having a blessed week, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and love you so much. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. <laughs>